What's going on today guys, Steph Fishing here. About to go out on the kayaks for our first ever kayak fishing trip of this year and on this channel. So right here, we got the kayak, it's the green one. We got uh, three rods, one with a Senko, one with a crankbait, and one with a large tube style bait. Um, two storage compartments, uh, paddles over there, um, nice seat, uh, plenty of room to stand up on, you know, so pretty good. We're gonna fish the coastline right over there, all the way around this lake here, uh, local state park right here. But um, yeah, it's like 11.30 and I think it should be pretty good. Okay guys, we're now in the water. Onwards to the first spot. Okay guys, we're at the uh, first little place I'm gonna fish at. Looks like the current is taking us kinda to Right where we want to go, right along this coastline here. So it should be pretty easy to catch fish. That's pretty bad cast. Oh, something right there. Oh, I had a bite. I said a bite. I said a bite. I said a bite. First bite of the day. Come on, buddy. Come back for it. Probably a little bass. Come on, buddy, come back for it. It's probably a little bass. Oh, oh, we hit it again. Must be a bluegill. Look at it. Okay, so I'm uh, downsized to the three inch size of the Senko. Somebody told me that this is very good at uh, this particular park, this size. So let's see. Come on, fish. Oh, wait a minute. That could have been a bite. My line just like, the way your line rushes out like that usually means a bite. I don't really feel a bite. Oh. cast over there. Okay, I upsized my bait again. Back to that uh, six inch size of the rubber worm. That'll be a bit better, maybe. Hopefully. I'll put on a drop shot rig. There's like a, some uh, pilings out deep. This must be pretty good. In the worst case, I'll go to something small, like a little jig or something. Okay, guys, so on this map right here, we are, like, right over there, okay? All those triangles around there, those are, like, offshore pilings. So we're going to try to fish that next. You know, uh, I got a drop shot rig tied on. Hope this will work. If not, I'll probably have to, I don't know, I'm kind of desperate for a fish. I'll put on like a, like a little jig, like I said, or a, um, maybe like a spinner or something. I don't know. Okay, based on the map, it looks like right around here, we got back up a little bit. There should be some pilings. And the remnants of like an old bridge. So I'm gonna try here. Uh, I remember ice fishing here. I think it was pretty deep. I think it was like 20 some feet, maybe like 30 some feet. But uh, you know what? I'll try it. I'll try it. Let's see, he's gonna get in line with this bridge right here. And it's old. 
road. It should be like right around here. Kind of moving the bait around. I have a better idea. It's gonna make like some casts. Yeah, if any anybody has uh, tips on like offshore fishing, definitely appreciate that. Okay, I got a very small lure tied on. Um, got like bass, bluegill, you know, those kind of fish. Okay, let's try to get one, at least one fish in the boat for today. I have an idea. Oh, man. I don't know if it's a good idea. Come on. Get me right over there. Need to exit my boat. Come on, worms. Let's see. Here's a big one, big one. Big one, big one, big one. Yes. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. look at the size of this guy. Sheesh. Right underneath like a little log. Okay. You gotta bite people, we gotta bite. Okay, gotta fix the worm, fix the worm. First actual bite of a day, little bluegill. <coughs> Definitely like a little bluegill, come on. Gun, 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 gun. Yes, look at this. That was over the boat, so I'm gonna count that as a fish. I don't, I don't know though. What was that, a perch or a bluegill? Oh, I wish I caught that. You know, I'm not gonna even count that. Dang it, dang it. <sighs> that fish is so small. Was that like a little perch? Like a little bluegill, like a little bass, I don't know. Oh my gosh, no. I had that fish. He just had to flop onto the boat, but he flopped not onto the boat. No. He hit like the rod though. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it, man. It's so, it's so like debatable if that if I actually caught that or not. Come on, fish, come on. Come on, fishies, come on. Wait, one second. rod drifting down the thing and I was like I'm not losing that rod so I just jumped in. Alex, it's only a rod. That's, that was an expensive rod. I've been kayak fishing for years guys. Never had any anything fall overboard. And then to lose that rod. I lost the rod holder. I mean that was like 20 bucks. But that rod, I mean that was that was not cheap. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I just saw the rod floating. I just saw it tip and just floating away. And I was like, oh god, I'm not losing that thing. I just jumped right in. Oh my gosh. Come on, I still got a worm though. Let's catch a fish, come on. Blue gill. 
I need one. Come on. Oh, I had a bite. I had a bite. That's a big bite. Too. I know there's little guys here. Okay, right over here. Come on. This is the spot. There's always so many blue guys right here. Right here. Right here. Bites. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Yes. 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 Get in the freaking boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. He's in the boat. He's in the boat. Oh my god. After all this time. After all this time. I lost the rod. This is what I got. About three hours of intensive fishing here. This is what I got to show for it. A little blue go right back at the boat launch. Little tiny. Oh my god. Okay, bye bye. There he goes. Oh my god. I can finally relax. <laughs> 